We have a small collection of cutting boards at my house. We have a couple cutting mats and a couple cutting boards and they seem to get put everywhere. And we really don't have a good place to store them. So I think it's time to make a permanent solution for this. My wife wants a holder that'll be mounted under the cabinet. So I have to get a couple measurements before I start modeling this in Fusion. Now that I have it all modeled, I'm ready to take it to the shop and start making it. Something I should have paid attention to as I was playing this was that I have a cutoff screw there in the wood. And anytime that you use scrap wood, especially from a pallet or something else, you have to be careful of stuff like this. In fact, you see right there that I'd found it before and marked it and didn't look close enough right now before I started cutting. So right now I'm gonna to try to cut on both sides of this to cut that piece out because I still need the entire length of this board and see if I could still save all this material and some of this material because there's a pretty big crack down here as well. So on the table saw I'm going to cut that section out and see if I can plane the rest down. I have all the pieces ripped down to the correct widths. Now I just have to cross cut them to the right length. So I have the six slats done, which are the pieces right here. I got three on this side and three on this side. I have the two long runners at the bottom done, which is this piece here and this piece here. I have these ripped to length. I just have to cross cut them. Those are my end pieces and I am going to split this on the bandsaw right now to be that little shelf piece right there and you'll see why I have it that way um, when the build is all done. The only thing I have left to cut is the little mounting blocks up here so I need to find a piece of wood that's roughly that dimension and cut it down. Then it's assembly time. Oh, birds are noisy out here today. My dimensions when I ripped this on the bandsaw were a little bit off, but that'll work okay for my design. I have a little bit of flexibility in some of the spacing. Um, it's about an eighth of an inch off, which if this was a precision build, that would be a pretty big deal, but I have some wiggle room for, for the thickness of this in comparison to the overall height. So time to cross cut everything and then assembly time. So there it is. There's my cutting board holder. See, I hold them just fine. My wife didn't find that too funny. All right, let's put it together.
For the most part, I kind of like the design and I like the way the build came out, but because the way I built it and I have these two freestanding sides, I have to make sure that everything stays square as I attach these two last runners that are going to have it attached to at the bottom. I'll be mounted to the cabinets at the very top here and that'll give it its structural support at the very top, which is why I built it this way. So it's really important right now that I keep everything in square, um, otherwise it just won't be as strong. Even right here with this joint, I have face grain going into edge grain, which probably is not going to be that strong. I'm going to put either a small screw or a couple of small nails into the end there just to help give it some more like mechanical um, strength. To keep everything square, I'm trying to have everything aligned to these two squares that I have here and all this aligned flush with this 48 inch ruler that I'm hoping will help get everything aligned. I'll do the final glue up and that should be done. I had to make a couple small changes to the design. The whole basket part was way too long, interfered with the switch that I had in the kitchen. So in my excitement to design this and get it built, I didn't really account for some of the things around it, which is always the wrong way to approach something like this. But luckily enough, I was able to take off these bottom runners and reattach it, and it worked out pretty well. Um, the other thing is that for added strength, I put in this right here, which is almost like a little trim piece because it runs across this face right here. It's going to hold it and add a little bit of rigidity and strength to the bottom right there. It's done. I have some butcher block finish applied. So now I'm going to go install it and see how it works out. Also the project done. I did make some design changes along the way. It was taking up way too much room here and was blocking this light switch back here. So I made some adjustments to the design, kind of like on the fly. And it's still a little bit bulky and could probably stand to be about two to three inches shorter than what it is now. But overall, I like it, came out well, got it all mounted in and it does the job. And it has room for a couple more cutting boards, which I know that my wife has stashed around here somewhere. So there's room for them when we find them. That's it, thanks for watching. Please follow, subscribe, share, every little bit helps. And we do have a Patreon with some merchandise. We have t-shirts and I have a couple new designs that will be coming out shortly. And I have affiliate links to some of the tools I used in the description down below. YouTube still has comments turned off, so if you would like to share any feedback, which I would love to hear, go ahead and do that through Instagram and Twitter, uh, whatever your social media of choice is. And that's it. Don't forget to design, make, and play. On to the next one. See ya.